What's up, dudes and dudettes? Children of all ages, it's me, Golo Daddy, coming at you live from the living room on a Tuesday. That's right, a Tuesday. And I got a little review for you. It's going to be probably a short video. Not a haul video, not a trade video. I'm just going to show you some really freaking cool pieces right here. Because I'm about to set them all free as Lamar Fasnine. Fasim. Anyway, I'm sorry if I pronounced your name wrong, buddy. I hope you're watching, Lamar. Um, free to peace, baby. Cracking crap open. You know, it's a PG channel. I try to keep it PG, but my podcast is not PG. So, if anyone ever listens to the next episode, which I might do in the next hour, I might stream it. I might not. I'll let y'all know on Instagram and Facebook. Look for my page on Facebook. It's, it's Diecastomics. A uh, whole bunch of collectibles and whatever. And Just look up Diecast Comics. You'll find it. Um, what I got today is... We're taking a trip, baby. We're taking a trip back in time. With not one, not two, not three, but four. Four DeLoreans. Two hover modes, two Mr. Fusions, two main lines, two retros, double shot Tuesday, might as well, right? Two for Tuesday, here they are, two main lines, two retros, let's get a crack a lacking. First, we're going to take a look at the um the main line that I have opened already, it's the um, DeLorean Mr. Fusion, it's a pretty fine little piece here, I like the silver paint. As it's uh, simulating the um, the metal, but let's see if we can get a. Probably not going to be able to pick it up real good on this iPad because I'm using the iPad again, but it's still sparkly. Um, not sure how to detail on the inside looks, but it's got the uh, it's got door handles. I don't know what this is. Maybe it's a, a chip a chip of the paint. I like how it has that on the um, fender. Detail on the fender. Here's the, uh, oh, what do they call this thing? Oh, my, flux capacitor. The plastic is detailed. I wish it had more color. There is a video out there that I've seen where the guy takes this baby apart, details it up real nice, and uh, I might look for that again, and uh, maybe I'll do one to this detail. And I wish I can, I wish the iPad can pick up, uh, like, focus on this. But, um, there's the main line. We're going to go right ahead and crack open the, uh, yeah, that's why I bought it. I'm saving it from shame. But, you know, just like, uh, good old Pooch Man says, we don't want that. We want, the, we want the toy inside. Oh, yeah. I mean, this one's got the wheels. I know Race Grooves has done a video about the retros. That's upside down. And the retro one has um no wheels but it has a stand but this is by far is pretty neat for a basic for a mainline car it's got the detail up underneath the um fenders here same layout as the regular Mr. Fusion it's at the tail light I mean um license plate is different I'm not sure what else is different on these it looks about that's about it, really. Well, maybe the inside a little bit. The interior is a little more detailed. But, um... The, um... The flux capacitor looks... Actually, the flux capacitor looks a little different. Yes, it is. It's... I don't know. You tell me, guys. It, it looks a little different to me. <laughs> um... The wheel, the, the um... The wheels are the same, except that this one's folded out, and it's not painted on the bottom where it should be, so it's more more realistic, but that's alright, it's only a main line. Clear blue tinted windows, still has the same trim on the sides, very, very interesting. License plate is different, it doesn't have, see, I don't know if you can see down here, um, on this one, 
on the fender here. It doesn't have this silver strip here. I don't know what that indicates, if it's anything, but that's the two comparisons of the, um, the main line. Now let's get crack a lacking into the retros. Oh, yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Setting it free. That's how we do it. I mean, if a lot of you have seen my Instagram, you know I did get more than one of these, so I'm definitely crack. Oh, that is super sick, man. Hold on, man. Hold on, man. Oh, yeah. Rubber tires. Treaded tires. Not, you don't see too many treaded tires, you know. Sometimes you get uh, slicks. I've been seeing a lot of slicks lately. But there's the uh, information. Back to the Future Time Machine. Universal Studio copyrighted H20. That was the week. It, um, week it was produced of this year, I believe. Now, as we get, oh, that's sweet. I didn't mean to blind you guys, but now this is really detailed here. Uh, I like. Oh, look, there's where the silver ship should be, right down here. Right across there is where that silver ship is on the basic, on the basic main line. See the silver strip here? It looks like writing. But down here, it has the mold for it, but it doesn't have the silver paint. Once again, here's the, here's what we're going to do difference. The flux capacitor is definitely, definitely changed. More detail on the flux capacitor. This thing sticking out. This one doesn't have it. These are both the Mr. Fusion. I'm not sure if uh, this one's got this clear window plastic. That's pretty cool. You can really see inside the car now. They both look Zamac. I mean, I could be wrong. This one looks like it's more silver paint than it is Zamac. But I could be wrong. You got the detail on the blue on the top there. Definitely two different Mr. Fusions. More detail on the Mr. Fusion there. Definitely, definitely. Better tires. This time around, for sure. I mean, you can always just, you know, make your own with this guy and detail her up. Which I might do to one of them, but... Love it. Love it, love it, love it. That's the, um... Main line. And the retro. And now we're gonna go to the Mr. F the hover mode. crack a -lack and crack a -lack like a crazy man. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, baby. One, two, three. Oh. Plastic. This one now comes with the stand, and it's already on it. So let's just see how it stands. That's really neat. What I'm thinking I'm going to do is put this one back here. That would be, that's the retro. That's the retro. This is the main line. This is the main line. I like that scene better. So let's get a checking out this bad, bad boy. Wow, it's definitely more heavier than... Oh my lord. Let's see. H19. This was made before that one. Go figure. But let's see. Definitely, definitely. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, yeah. Definitely, definitely heavy. Heavier than the Mr. Fusion one. First off, I see that the fuss capacitor is painted. This one's more shinier gloss coat than this one. Clear tinted windows. The uh, undercoat of the tires are painted. Same trim layout. Really cool. I'm surprised they're not... surprised they're not rubber tires on these. But again, on this model, too. <laughs> the rims aren't painted underneath. But that's because no one's really going to see it. But I see it. This one was made... Can't really make that out. You know, first of all, it's upside down. 
Ninth week. Wow. Um, front end. It's got uh, the retro version's got um, painted headlights, which is cool. Um, same on the rears on these, except for Mr. Fusion's not painted white. That's all right. Still really cool. Loving the Back to the Future castings. Like, they're really doing great jobs with these. I can't wait to see what they do with um, um, the train. That's going to be sick if they do the train. I hope they do the train. But there you have it. Back to the Future. Um, Back to the Future Time Machine number uh, part one. Part one retro. Part one, uh, part two retro. I'm sorry. Part two, part one, and the other one's over there somewhere. But there it is, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I can't wait to do another cracking. Um, might do another one tonight. Might not, but I'm definitely gonna go live. So text me if you have my number. Email me. Anything, it don't matter. Hit me up, guys. I might go on live at 10. Because then by that time... Uh... Because by that time, um... I only have about an hour to go before Michelle comes home. Before the missus comes home, so... It's about the time frame I have to mess around with you guys to play. Talk diecast. Talk how... It has changed your life for the good, for the worst, for the whatever. But there it is, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. Can't wait to hear. Oh, sorry, guys. Can't wait to hear from you guys. Uh, as always, comment, share, subscribe, like, dislike. It don't matter to me. As long as you guys have information or not information. As long as you guys are interacting with me, it's all that matters. If you don't like the video, oh well. Handers and motivators. That's what got. That's what. Uh, that's what got me here. Anywho, I'll save my rambling for the podcast. Um, if I do record it, I'm gonna record it tonight. Probably not live, depending on who decides who wants they want to call or whatever. But let me know. I'm at 13 minutes on the iPad. I should get out of here before it cuts off anyway. So, as always, happy hunting, happy hauling, happy collecting. Peace. Love and die cast. We're out.